right, good morning and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I have to say I am <coughs> a bit under the weather and probably going to see the doctor today. I'm hoping I'm waiting for a phone call back from him to give me an appointment today. Okay, but anyway... Let's see what's going on here, shall we? The songs that came through were um, Luther, oh, what was his name? Ingram, I think, If Loving You Is Wrong. And the other one was um, Don't Close Your Eyes by Keith Whitley. And both of those songs are about cheating with somebody else. So... I get the feeling that somebody in the collective is cheating or wants to cheat with a married person. And you know that there could be consequences to this, obviously. You know that. You're an adult. So I'm not going to tell you what to do or not to do. So if you came here looking for me to tell you what to do or not to do, you came to the wrong place. Because you're the, you're the one who has to be responsible for your own choices. However, <clears throat> I will say that it's not fair to anyone involved. It's not fair to you. It's not fair to their spouse. And it's not fair to them to have that going on. Now, if everybody is aware of it and everybody says, okay, let's do it, that's a different story. But if you're seeing somebody on the down low, that, that kind of dishonesty is going to bring karma, major karma into your life, okay? Especially if you have a family, meaning children involved in this. And for God's sake, protect yourself from having more children from this person you're having the affair with. Okay, Spirit, what kind of virtues are you working on in the collective today? Love. Joy and responsibility. Having to, having love, having happiness, and being responsible. And also controlling yourself and being content with what you have been given. You both might be married. You both could be married. You, you both could know that the other is married and that you're doing this behind the those other people's backs, or one of you could be married, the other's not. It, there's, it, this could be a lot of different scenarios. But somebody's knowing they're married and they're having to be content, choosing to be satisfied with what God has given you. Because you chose this person to be your husband or wife. And now you no longer are content with that. So you have to have self-control and be responsible when it comes to your love and your joy. Okay? Just saying. Alright. If you don't want to be with this person anymore, you need to figure out how to get out of this marriage. Divorce. You have to get, you have to get a divorce. Alright, Spirit, show me how you're working in the collective today. Well, I mean, I recommend a divorce. I wouldn't do anything stupid. Like, kill, how, hire somebody to kill them. You have the high priestess. You know better. And the lovers on the bottom of the deck. Gemini is here with Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. So, you know better. You're a high priestess, and you know better than this choice you've made. Or you may not have made this. This could just be a temptation. You could just be tempted to have a married person in your life. Show me how this happens, Spirit. 
May I see if the universe could tell me how this happened? What would it say? That's a lot of cards. I'm falling in love with you. How are you? We haven't talked in forever. My feelings are on end. I can see myself marrying you one day. And where have you been my whole life? Okay, so you're you're reconnected with somebody from your past. And this is somebody I think you were in love with back in the back in the day. Something happened to to make you have to move in different directions in life. And now you've run back into this person and you're like, damn, I'm falling in love with you again. I haven't talked to you in forever. My feelings are on E because in my current relationship, my old man or my old lady ain't doing it for me no more. And I can see myself marrying your fine ass. Where have you been all my life? Or it could just be somebody you just met. But it looks like it's somebody that you haven't talked to in forever. Alright, what's being hidden? Thanks for being in my life. Booty call. Where have you been my whole life? And I reread all of our text messages. And y'all are already seeing each other for booty calls. Alright, what's being shown? Or you want to be. Damn, you drive me crazy. And is the grass cleaner? So one of you is married for sure. And what's going to happen next? What the fuck is up with you? I love the way you love me. So for some reason, something's going to change. I just want honesty. Why do you insist on lying to me? Yes, yeah, somebody's gonna start doing. Somebody's gonna start figuring this out. What the fuck is up with you? Why do you insist on lying to me? Somebody's person is finding out that they've got somebody on their side. That's what I see here. Let's see what energy oracle has to say. Energy Oracle, what did you have to say? Angel of love and a woman holding a heart. I'm telling y'all, these cards right here is a joke. This woman that makes these cards is definitely in tune with spirit. A man, a thinking man and a woman holding a heart. One more time, spirit says. The angel of strength and a thinking man. There's a man that's thinking hard about this. Alright, universe, what would you say to the collective about this situation? Interesting. Damn it, boy. Everything came out in reverse. <laughs> All right, number 53, the magician in the mirror is basically the magician, but in reverse, which we know is about being manipulative, right? But let's read the interpretation from the book. <coughs> number 53. Somebody can't walk away. Number 53. The magician in the mirror in reverse. The magician in the mirror reversed is warning you that you may be missing a great opportunity. The time is right, but you're not taking advantage of the creative energy of this cycle. You do have the power to transform things for yourself to create something new, whether a home, business, family, or a new life direction. You may be hesitant 
to or even disbelieving of the, the unlimited power of that you possess. But it's time to wake up. The manifestation and perceived limitation that things <laughs> from the past can no longer sustain you. Your life is a mirror and reflects your inner energy, yet you have the ability to change what you see. You must fully open up to the complete truth of your eternal wisdom, <coughs> talents, and abilities, and take the risk of believing in yourself. Now is the time to dig deep, find the confidence and courage within to make the most of this opportunity. You have all the resources you need and the unlimited force of the universe is at your disposal. It's waiting for you to recognize and ignite the phenomenal powers that are eternally yours. So you got some power. All right, sorry for the interruption. So. We are dealing with a very, very, very powerful person here. They're a high priestess and a magician. And they are at the, they're at the gate that leads to their abundance. But for some reason, they're walking away. I think this is upside down because your thinking might be upside down. However, your tarot is upright, so it's like, I'm going to tell you what I think. I think you know better. You know better, and you're struggling with making this choice, and that's why you're all upside down. I think you are a master magician. I think you're at the gate to your abundance, and you're considering walking away from it all because you've met somebody that you truly, truly love and have loved in the past. This is somebody from, I think, your past that you have been reunited with somehow, maybe by accident. You two could have run into one another. When you, were, when you knew each other in the past, you could have been single, but maybe life took you in different directions for whatever reason. I don't know. I'm just throwing things out there. All of these could be read in the reverse. So I'll keep going with that and see if anybody resonates with it. But I truly think that you are fighting within yourself because you know better. And you know that there's consequences. You know that you can manifest anything you want as a magician and as a high priestess together. You can manifest anything you want, even if you have to use magic to do it. You can have whatever you want in this lifetime. But you're having to have self-control, contentment, and be responsible with your magic. Because you know better than to use this magic against people's self-will. Alright, number 30. The garden and the gate in reverse. If this card is reversed, it indicates the happy choice to open the door... To a more spiritual pursuit. You may have been obsessed with worldly issues before, but your readiness to go deeper is now here. Many people believe that you cannot live in the material world, make lots of money, and engage in spiritual priorities at the same time. But you now realize this isn't true. In fact, you can bring this wonderful spiritual focus to any endeavor. And when you do, you'll find that beyond your garden, the universe is willing to fill your life with beauty and joy. Expect the unexpected, for joyous synchronicity abounds. So maybe it wasn't a mistake that you ran into this person. Maybe it wasn't, because you're definitely a spiritual person. And if you're not, you're, you're about to become that way because it's in your blood. You were born with it in your DNA. Walking away in reverse is, is this. 
This card reverse signals that you may be feeling very stuck in some present situation or location. There may be a job or a relationship that no longer resonates with you, yet out of habit or perhaps fear, you allow yourself to stay when it might be healthier to consider walking away. Habit and familiarity are compelling forces, often causing people to ignore their intuition and even dishonor. Yeah, you've been ignoring your intuition and dishonoring your genuine feelings. It's a time to honor an investigation. It's time for an honest investigation. Consider all of the factors in the present situation. Perhaps the timing isn't quite right, and there may be some purpose in staying a little while longer. Don't deceive yourself about your motivations. However, fear-based decisions don't often work out in your highest interest. You also may be stuck in a long-term personal habit or unhealthy pattern. Be aware that you always have the option and the responsibility, remember responsibility, to let go of anything that you, any, you, 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 you can let go of any thought or behavior that no longer honors you. Whenever you walk away from negativity, you always move toward greater happiness. There's, there's a couple of things that could be going on here. It looks like you are reconnecting with somebody that you've known in the past. And it's during a time when your marriage to somebody else is not doing so hot. And so you're having to make the decision, what do I do? What's my responsibility here? Should I control myself? Should I be content? Is it my responsibility to stay because I have children with this person? What do I do, Spirit? What is it that you would have me to do? And Spirit, how can we find out? Alright, let's pull some breakup cards and find out why you're not getting along in your, pre your, your current. They will call and it's a dying love. So, you're in a dying love and there's somebody else that will call. It's your choice you're in a dying love. So, yeah, Spirit's saying, I'm giving you the option choose here because your, your love is dying. The love that you have right now is dying. There's somebody who's controlling and it's a dying love. So they're trying to make you stay even though the love is gone. Alright, Spirit. What should this person do about this dying love? You're making silent moves because this person is not for you. Spirit said, make silent moves. They're not for you. Alright. Clarify the silent moves. You're, you're, you're on the verge of telling somebody how you feel. You're fantasizing and you're practicing forgiveness. So... You're going to have to forgive. That's what your silent moves are. You being on the verge of telling this person about your other person, the one you fantasize about, and asking them to forgive you because you're in love with somebody else. But right now you're undecided. Show me how this, this new person feels about the, the person that wants to leave their, their spouse. Only you, there was a mistake, they were angry, and they had differences. They only wanted you, and they made a mistake by being angry about some differences. Clarify what you mean by differences. Somebody was in denial. You might be different races. Divine timing is here and worth waiting for. So somebody was in denial about some differences y'all had. And it could have been about divine timing and somebody being worth waiting for. 
Anyway, you you found your way back together again, and now he, him or her are, are secret love. So, let's find out. Show me how the person that is... Show me what's going on with the collector. You're celebrating gifts, abundance, and having a celebration. You have a contract, but you have doubt and lack because of something that happened in the spring, last spring. All right. What about this new person that they are in falling in love with? Show me where they are. They're having an epiphany and a breakthrough. Clarify this epiphany. They're having a transformation. What's the transformation? They, they apologized for their part in something. They have self-worth now, and they want to have unity with you. All right, where is the X? The one, not X, but the soon-to-be X. Where are they at? This is over. The, this, um, it's over. They're healing. They're getting stability. There was something unexpected that happened, probably finding out about this new person. And somehow this has brought balance to some karma. How did it bring balance and karma and justice? Because somebody did something to sabotage something in a winter. Somebody did something in the winter, not this winter, but in a winter that sabotaged and they have guilt for doing this dark shit. And that's what's balancing this out. Somebody did some dark, dark shit. Trust divine timing. Can you clarify the guilt and sabotage? Damn it, boy. Oh my God. You separated and you were supposed to make an offer and move in together, but somebody did not have the courage to change and make this offer. You were supposed to live together. Your Venuses are a perfect match. This is a Venus offer. This is not just any offer. This is a soulmate twin flame offer. And somebody did not have the courage to change and make these offers. That's why they feel like they sabotaged this and put you all in separation. They know they did. They know they did. They feel bad about it, too. That's why they have this lack and this doubt. What's going to happen next between these two? There's regret. You're going to get messages in your dreams. You're going to have self-love and set intentions, and you're going to use your intuition. Your third eye. You're both very gifted. Highly, highly gifted people. Why is deception on the bottom of the deck? Because of somebody avoiding in a stalemate. Being closed off, guarded, and resistant. Disharmony triggers in conflict and being at a distance. But there's an ace of cups here. So who is this? There's deception. I want to know who this is. Let me get some cards here. May I see who this is that's being deceptive? There he is. The King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini. This is a Gemini. They're, they're being deceptive because of not waiting. What do you mean they're being deceptive about waiting? There's been a tower. Somebody's been manifesting you because they know you're a catch. But 
They deceived you out of your wish fulfillment. They deceived you out of your wish fulfillment. Why is the tower here? Because somebody had not healed. And they, okay. Somebody, somebody was trying to heal and see the truth. And they finally saw the truth about a king of wands in reverse. What was the truth? It was about Sagittarius temperance and a date. <clears throat> this person was pissed off. What's the truth about this date? They, they were not hiding their feelings, but they, this person was hurt bad because they didn't get to go on this date. And they felt like this was a mind game, a betrayal, and it was toxicity. And it made them feel helpless and hopeless that they could not go on this date. They were promised a date. And because of something about a king of wands, Leo's here with Scorpio and Libra, major arcanas. Because of that... And not healing from it. They didn't get to go on this date. And they were deceived. Somebody deceived them. Look, the emperor is what's here. And this stuck to the table. The emperor and the five of cups. Which is about loss. This person lost a lot. Because of the bullshit that went on here. Who was responsible for this bullshit? The Queen of Swords, not choosing a direction when it came to justice, a friend that somebody wanted to move towards with love. They wanted to move, okay, there's a Queen of Swords here. Remember, the King of Swords is the one that caused the problems. His identical match, which means they're probably soulmates. chose a direction that brought justice. Remember there was something that was out of balance karmically? Well, the direction that they chose caused justice when it came to this person going back to see a friend or a child. They didn't want this person to go back to this person because they knew that if they did that this is what they would want because this is where they get their emotional fulfillment. So this person that's married knows that the person they're married to is in love with somebody else and they did everything they could to stop them from having a date that was meant to happen. What did they do to stop this date? They caused a wheel. It was something undecided, and they were being inconsiderate and giving mixed signals. They were lying to them. They were being wishy-washy, and it caused a real slow wheel. Clarify the outcome of the wheel. The outcome of the wheel is that the King of Pentacles got left out in the cold. <clears throat> And I don't think he even knew. These are all the same person. He ended up getting left out in the cold, and he could he didn't see it coming. He didn't know what was happening. He he couldn't see the truth. Wherever he was at, the truth was blocked from this person. How did they feel about it when they found out? They felt like a really high-level commitment was broken. Somebody that they were married to, they wanted a divorce. They felt like they wanted away from this person because they were bickering and fighting. 
What was the outcome of that? They ghosted them. They got in their car and they ghosted them because they were sick of the toxicity. They they just, they left them totally left them left them waiting. Just left them waiting. Anything else we need to know here? This person's rebuilding their life, and it's almost time for something. Almost time for what? It's almost time for the end of a third party and some real fast forward movement. A rush of love. Where will this Eight of Wands lead? Can you show me where the Eight of Wands is leading? Thank you. The Eight of Wands is leading to the end of that marriage and somebody very high profile being recognized or something. Maybe they're just recognizing that this is the end. Look, the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You remember the King of Wands? I told you this was their exact match. They're showing up as an exact match because they're probably soulmates. Show me what the Six of Wands represents. Making plans for the future, making a decision, and awakening. The lovers is here. The lovers is here. That's the end of the message. Now I'm going to clarify the lovers. Clarify the lovers, please. Somebody is divinely guided to fight for this. And in divine timing, they have an idea. What's the idea? They have in divine timing. It has to do with children. All right, what about these children? It's about money focus in reverse. Clarify what you mean by money focus. A ten of cups and an ace of cups. So it could be a new child. They might be wanting to focus on children in, instead of money. But this is leading to Ten of Cups, everything. This Ace of Cups doesn't have to be a child, but it says children, money focus in reverse. And I'm going after this person that I love. I want, I want to be with this person that I love, and I want to focus on them and their children more than money. Because money's not everything, is it? What will be the outcome? I want to see the outcome of the money by doing this. Because I think spirit's about to blow your mind. What will be the outcome of the money for making this move? Your emotions. You're doing this because of your emotions. You're listening to your heart. Alright, what's going to be the outcome of listening to their heart? The outcome of listening to your heart is that you're going to be a crafter. You're going to have a change. It has something to do with the office and having an inspiration. You're an entertainer and you're going to have a business. Somehow a business when it comes to entertainment. Maybe you're going to have a nightclub. And you're going to also have real estate. Wow. Anything else we need to know? Your health is here. Somebody's a writer. Your divine timing is here. And a counselor. With spirituality. So, your health is an issue. You have some health problems. But you're going to be a writer. And in divine timing, somebody's going to be a counselor and they're going to use their spirituality as part of their counseling. And they're going to help to rescue people that way. That's beautiful. Outcome of divine timing. Wow. Wow. You're going to be, you, you're, you're going to, you might as well plan it. Because you are going to 
You're going to work on planning something. A mechanic is here. Somebody could be a mechanic. And they're planning on unlocking and celebrating. A mechanic. They might be working on planning on. They're, no, they're working on planning, unlocking, and celebrating. Don't talk about it. Spirit says don't talk about it any further. So that's it. We don't say anything else about it. When Spirit says that's enough, that's what Spirit means. All right. Let's find out what this person that you've reconnected with would say to you. What would the person that's reconnected with you say? I feel that sexual tension. <laughs> Y'all got some good sex going on, huh? And I feel so drawn to you. All right, what would you say to them? I wonder how you feel about me. So you don't talk about your feelings. You broke my heart, and I trusted you. Hmm. You hurt this person badly. I can't do this. What would you say to them when it comes to I trusted you and you broke my heart? What would they what would you say to them about that? You would say, I miss being with you. I compare others to you and I wish we could go back. I hide my feelings. I feel so drawn to you, and I can't do this, alright, so what else would you say about all that, well, you've got more to say, I don't know why this happened, I am recovering, and I want you so badly, so whatever happened, it had something to do with needing to recover, that might have been the health part, alright, What's gonna what what's gonna be the outcome, spirit? I'm in a committed relationship and I admire you. So y'all are gonna end up in a committed relationship and you're gonna admire them. And I want to make amends. I still have feelings for you. You're gonna work it out, guys. You're gonna work it out. It's gonna be all right. It's going to be all right. All right, now, let's see what kind of healing is needed here. What kind of healing is... Somebody's sad. Somebody could have a little bit of seasonal or some kind of depression going on. Circumstantial. Something's made you sad. You need to pay close attention to the signs. There's signs you're missing. Spirit's telling me that you're missing some signs. You're overlooking some things because you're too close to the situation. You need some help seeing these signs that you're missing. You know what I'm talking about. I'm going to leave it alone. You, you're going to manifest. You're going to continue to have sexual art. And you're going to get messages in your dreams. And... There's a hole in your soul, so you need to work on that childhood wounding inside. Definitely work on that. All right, talk to me about what kind of spiritual gifts are operating here. You're protected. You're going to have something new. You might have a baby, a seedling. There was an ace of cups, and there's going to be a celebration. You're going to celebrate something. They celebrating a baby that's what <laughs> a baby and you have an angel you're going somebody in this collective is gonna have a baby that's precious congratulations and it's gonna cause your tree of life to be bigger that tree of life is something else isn't it that um acorn you got an acorn in the oven don't you sweetheart all right let's see what spirit would say out of here i'm not getting a twin flame vibe here i'm getting a soulmate vibe all right spirit what would you say to the collective out of here 
you're gonna have peace. Spirit's gonna bring you peace, okay? Alright. What else? You're gonna get clarity and you're gonna have blessings. What about this person over here that you're dealing with? They need compassion and they need to have more confidence in themselves. And right now they're grieving. They're upset about something. They're crying. They're grieving. They're sorrowful. All right. Anything connecting the two that we need to know about? Your dreams. Them dreams. You need to pay attention to your dreams. Somebody's having dreams. You might be dreaming about one another. Like, sometimes I dream about my twin flame and I talk to him in my sleep. You're going to have justice. There's something legal or something is going to be made right. Prosperity on the bottom of the deck. I'm hearing go one more time. You're going to also have travel and forgiveness. Travel and forgiveness. And manifestation. Because I'm going to tell you right now, you're either a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. And somebody's a Gemini. And somebody is a powerful person. You have, I got the power. You got the power, baby. You got the power. May I have a message for whoever it is that's got that power? You, you have to be responsible with it. You cannot use it irresponsibly. Time to do a full moon ritual. I don't keep up with the full moon, but it feels close. <laughs> Make your wishes come true with the following full moon ritual. You will need a magnet, seven cloves, a yellow envelope, or a piece of fabric or wrapping paper. On the next full moon, go outside and lay out the magnet surrounded by the cloves. Look up at the moon and make your wish. Bring these items in before sunrise and wrap them in, ye in your yellow item. As you wrap them, focus your on your wish magnetizing towards you. Carry this magical vessel with you for the next moon cycle and your wish should come true before the next full moon. It might actually be closer to the new moon right now. I don't even know what the date is. I think it's at the 5th. But it could be a, a week and a half or so away before the full moon. But this is going to give you time to prepare for this full moon ritual. And I've done this, and it's powerful. Powerful. So make sure you are intentional with what you wish for okay all right now i just want to pull some of these because it won't come out if it's not if it's not there okay talk to me about this person spirit you need to take care of yourself Spirit wants you to take care of yourself. Time for some self-care, okay? There needs to be healing. And you need stability. You've got to keep yourself stable. You need self-care and healing with stability. All right, anything else? You're going to play hard. But you're going to have to apologize for something that was strictly sexual. Oh, no. You were playing hard and now you have to apologize for something strictly sexual. Twin flame on the bottom of the deck. Alright. Anything else we need to know? You need, somebody needs support. Alright, why? Why do they need support? Because they are vulnerable and they learned a spiritual lesson. Alright, one more time. What else do we need to know? Anything else? Somebody is awakening. Awakening to what? That they're longing. They're yearning for you. They regret what they did. And they hate it that you're on different pages now. 
Can this work out? Finances are an obstacle. You need to go slow, Spirit said. There's a decision to be made. And it's causing interference. Twin flame came out as causing interference. So they could have an ex that's also a factor causing interference. All right, is there anything you'd like to say uh, out of this deck to this situation? Somebody's been chasing vows and longing but they're shallow chasing vows making promises and longing but they're shallow and it's divine feminine on the bottom of the deck so there's a divine feminine here that's very shallow anything else we need to know I think that somebody's going to have to say goodbye. And then they're, they're having an epiphany that they need to have a new beginning. What's going to be the outcome of that? Divine Masculine's here with only you. And no illusions. No illusions. Divine Masculine and only you. Okay? Alright, I'm going to get you one of these and then we're going to close. But I think this, you can reverse roles if you need to, but I think this reading is for somebody who's with the Divine Masculine, but they're a soulmate because Divine Masculine's twin flame is a piece of work and they decided not to be in the, that contract anymore. That's what it feels like. But take it as it resonates. Whoever he's with is a high priestess and a magician. <laughs> Very strong. They're probably a divine feminine also, but they're not with their twin flame. They're with this, this divine masculine. All right, so let me tell you what this says. You have mermaid number 33. Deep within, you know what excites and inspires you. Your job isn't to decide whether that inspiration is practical, realistic, or even possible. Human beings have been shown throughout history that the ideas which they once scoffed at as being ridiculous or impossible to achieve can become realities that they rely upon and take for granted as a natural part of their daily lives not long afterwards you too shall move from doubt to wondering how you ever lived without this passion this idea or inspiration of yours let the universe show off its creative flair for the unexpected and inspirational through you do not give up on what truly moves and inspires your heart for soon enough it will be part of your world and somebody here is an entertainer I do remember that and now number 20 daring dreamer you have some kind of idea of something to do with entertainment daring dreamer maybe you're gonna sing at church for your church or you're gonna start a band and sing around at a lot of different places I don't know you know what you want to do you don't need to adjust your dreams to fit in with what others say is realistic, sen sensible, or practical. Why seek to limit the power of the universe with negative expectations? Be uncompromising with your heart. Listen to what it wants and yearns for and believe that the universe has put those desires there and will show you every step to take to fulfill them. Do not allow someone else to make you feel like you should change who you are or what your heart truly yearns for. Not even a tiny bit, not even for one single second. This is Spirit saying the same thing to you over and over. So you have some kind of idea that you feel like others will think you're crazy if you go for it. But Spirit is saying, no, 
Go for it. I put that desire in you. I gave you that talent. Use it. Stop being hard-headed. Angels, how are you helping? You're going to give somebody their freedom. And power. You're going to have gratitude. And prayer. Somebody on their knees praying about this situation. I know that's right. Or however you pray. Laying down or sitting up. Creative power and music. I cannot make this up. You have a create, a, you, I think you have a creative power when it comes to music. You're either a singer or a musician or both. You might even write songs Thought on the bottom of the deck. Anything else you want to say here. You have protection and a guardian angel. And an awakening. Remember awakening? We kept getting awakening. All right, let's see what we're talking about. Alright, we have M as in Mary, N as in Nancy, F as in Frank, G as in Girl, W as in William, P as in Paul, E as in Edna. C as in Christy, D as in Danny, R as in Ronald, V as in Valerie, U as in Under, C as in Christy, V as in Vicky. P as in Paul, H as in Harry. M is in Martin, L is in Linda, M is in Martin, W is in William, A is in Abigail, C is in Christine, L is in Larry, T is in Tony, M is in Martin, O is in Oscar, M is in Martin, F is in Frederick, V is in Valerie. One more time. D is in dog, P is in Paul, F is in Frank, V is in Vicky, A is in Apple, C is in Christy. Alright, that's enough of that. Now, let's get you a prayer. What prayer would you give us? The prayer says, Dear God, thank you for giving me my family to love and care for. Help me to share with them your spirit's warmth and love as you bless them with grace and peace. May we as one family live with you forever in heaven. Amen. All right. Let's take some trinkets, shall we? Trinkets for this specific reason. Maybe we'll get that cute little acorn because somebody's going to have a baby. Somebody's having a baby. I have a key. Somebody may be buying a house or needing a real one or, or getting a new car. Wouldn't that be awesome? For some reason, we keep getting the rubber band. Strong is beautiful. I have a heart that says, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I have an elephant, an elephant, I have a St. Christopher, I have a crescent moon with a star, I have a bee, that could be something legal, I have um, an angel, I have a bonefish, Pisces, I have so much of me is made from what I learned from you, you will be like a handprint on my heart forever. No doubt. That's me and my husband. She believed she could, so she did. That's me. Somebody's hand here for card play or protection. We have a clown or jester or a fool. We have a precious angel. Precious moments angel. Look, y'all. We got a C. Ha, ha, ha. A C. See, that's my initial. 
And look, we have an I. C-I. Let's see what else we got here. We got a little girl with her little hair and a ball cap. We have a cross. You know what I haven't seen in a long time? My ballerina. I have a mouse. I have a skeleton key. <clears throat> I have a flower. Another hand, but it's smaller. I might have two card players in the house. I have a small flower. I have, what is that? An apple for temptation. An apple. Somebody took a bite out of that apple. Um, I have a bunny with a racket. We've been seeing temptation a lot lately. I have an angel. I have a flower. It's it's a um hmm. I'm not sure what kind of flower that is. Maybe you can tell me. Check it out. Do you see that? It could be a um, poinsettia. And I have a Christmas tree, which means something is going to happen at Christmas. Can't wait to see what it is. Alright. I'm telling you right now, my family has done been through some hell this year, y'all. If I told you all the people that we've lost and all the pets that we've lost, my daughter accidentally ran over her sister's dog and it, it didn't make it. They had to put it to sleep. And she she's an animal lover and it would kill her to hurt any animal, but it just so happened to be her sister's dog. <clears throat> the dog was laying down in front of her car when she was moving, you know, pulling out. And she saw the dog move, so she thought that it moved out of the way. And when she pulled up, she ran completely over the dog. The dog had not moved, but just a tiny little bit. It's like, it was out of the ordinary type stuff. Like, why, why, why would she not move? Like, she always moved. It was weird. And then my daughter, the same daughter, my oldest daughter had a cat that was 20 years old and she had to have it, it died finally last week. It had been sick for a long time. Of course, they lost their father September the 2nd, which was kind of, you know, it, it was unexpected. None of us expected it. We thought things were gonna get better. And that's been really hard. My mother lost a cousin. I lost a cousin. And I also lost a second cousin. This has all been in the last two, three months. And it's just been one, one death loss after the other. You would not, and then my dogs, my two dogs that, that live at my husband's home, at my home in Vanceboro, they got attacked by something, and they had to go to the vet, and they couldn't walk, they couldn't move, whatever attacked them, it caused them not to be able to move. They think it may have been a possum that bit it. That bit. You know, possums usually play dead, but they've been playing with that possum for years, and I think it finally got tired of it, and it attacked both of them, and they had puncture wounds all over them. That ended up costing me a fortune. They're going to be okay. Well, one of them already has a bad leg, and now they're saying there's arthritis in the good leg because they're overcompensating. So, if you're a person who prays or sends out positive vibes, I could sure use some my way because my family has been through so much this year that it is just un.
unbelievable. I can't even believe it myself. Alright, enough about me. And hopefully I'll get better. I'm going to the doctor today. I think it's from the table. Alright. I have another key. Somebody's definitely going to get a house or has gotten a house or needs a house or needs a key to something. You're going to have the key because here it is. I found it in both bowls. Live, laugh, and love. I have the bear. The bear. I have a feather. You may be finding feathers or you just might be somebody who uses them in your rituals. I have a piece of something. You know what? I think it's a piece of the bear's leg. I think a piece of the bear's leg broke. Yeah, the bro the the bear has a broken leg. Isn't that weird we were just talking about that? Alright, a squid or an octopus, a compass, Harry Potter nine and three quarters, an arrow, never never give up, the angel watching over the children on the broken bridge, a ball for a baby, a rocking horse for a baby, and I have an eye chain. I guess I'll give y'all an eye chain. We haven't had an eye chain in a while. May I have one eye chain? Eye chain, may I access your wisdom for this reading? For those who see this reading, what wisdom do they need to get through? Thank you for your wisdom, eye chain. It's always perfect for the reading. And I really love that. Alright, we got two, I think. Two in the bottom of the deck. So let's see what we got. We got radical change, inner truth, and nearing. Radical change, number 49. Time for transformation. In the moment of change, there is truth, sincerity, and a sure knowledge. The power of the whole unfolding creative process from source through to fruition and fulfillment can enter here and change the world. Regrets vanish along with the past to which they belong. The new time is coming. How can you break the mold? How much, how must the form change to express the essence? Now, 61, inner truth. Piglets and fishes are symbols of wealth, plenty, and luck, often used in offerings to the spirits. You are in a state of committed connectedness and can trust you will be provided for. Success in ongoing ventures and the insight to be in the right place at the right time are both manifestations of your inner truth. Where do you place your trust and what feels true? Now, number 19, nearing. The greater spirit draws nearer in an ongoing process of growth as you simultaneously pay patient attention and take responsibility. Harvest happens during the eighth month. But it isn't the end of the process of, of growth. Stay present to the ongoing cycle and do, uh, do not only focus on results. How does this want to grow? How can you take responsibility for its development? And what would your greater self do? All right, now, this isn't part of the reading. This is something I want to ask for myself. And Spirit knows what I'm asking. Spirit, can you tell me what I need to know? Spirit says something's going to come to a halt and you need to be quiet about it. All right, tell me what I need to know about what I need to know.
Let me see what fell. Coming to a halt, justice, silence, the past, and sharing. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Let me see it one more time, and then I'm gonna. Oh, I'm having a really hard time shuffling these cards today for this question, which is not surprising. <laughs> Talk to me, spirit. Networker. Strategy. A halt. Promoter and workaholic. Clarify what you mean by a halt. Beauty, managing your money, somebody's going to give you a gift, you're a peacemaker, and you're going to have angelic help. Alright, and your life purpose. So, talk to me about this gift. It's about work and science, and it has to do with animals. A laborer, science, and animals. A partnership. Clarify what this means. Somebody's going to have a fight. You're going to be surprised about a conflict that somebody's motivated to have when it comes to this animal working on science for this animal. Well, what will be the outcome? You're going to have options. You're going to have to be cautious. And then it will lead you to happiness. What options should I take? You need to use spell work. Settling with your voice. Use spell work and settle this with your voice. You're going to leave a legacy. Or somebody's left you one. And gay nature. Alrighty then, I'm going to let it go at that. Thank you, Spirit. I love you. I love you guys. And I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And leave me a comment. Say hi. Let me know you're out there. Just, if nothing else, just put an emoji. I don't care. I just like hearing from you guys and knowing that I'm not talking to dead space. <laughs> Alright, have a blessed day. Bye-bye.